popularly known for making rain, the Mujaji Queendom was, for the past two centuries, led by queens. The late Queen Makubo Mujaji VI left behind two children when she passed on in 2005. Her youngest, Princess Masala Nabu, was always expected to fill her shoes when she came of age. Last year, a decision to install her brother, Prince Lukukela, instead was announced by the Royal Council. On Friday, the High Court in Pretoria dismissed an urgent application to interdict this installation ceremony. Princess Masaranabu's foster parents have also taken the decision to enthrone Prince Likukela to court. That application is due to be ventilated in court on October the 10th. The Mujaji Royal Council insists the princess was never identified as the next heir to the throne. Let's correct and demystify what the public thinks it is holding. The, in the Tolo Commission, there was never identification of Masalanabo as an heir to the throne. The presence of Masalanabo was symbolic. Why symbolic? It was symbolic because in 1970, when this kingdom or queendom was stolen, the status was demoted, we were having queens. And hence, the day of restoration, it would have been naive to talk about the kingdom by that time in 2018. Because in 1970, when the status was stripped off, it was still the queens. Some subjects, however, seemed to believe the installation is for a temporary basis. Other subjects feel robbed by Princess Masala Nabu's foster parents, whom the Mujaji Royal Council has blamed for preventing them from getting access to the princess. They sabotaged us by the values, as by the values because we knew we were following our reign, reign queen's system, but they sabotaged the forthcoming reign queens. That's why we, we changed our mind to, to reinstate the, 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 the kings. The date for the coronation of the king-elect is yet to be set. Fiman Baloi, SABC News, at the Kitagone Royal Palace, outside Mujaji's Kloof, in